Where are the plastics? They're teen royalty. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. And that little one, that's Gretchen Wieners. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. So if you're from Africa, why are you white? So fat. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Fall for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. Mother. <laughs> we should totally just stab Caesar. Don't have sex in the missionary position. She doesn't even go here. Suck the MC. They suck on that. Where are the plastics? They're teen royalty. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. That little one. It's Gretchen Wieners. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Um, what's happening? And evil takes a human form in Regina George. No, I'm before, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. Damien sat next to her in English last year. She asked me how to spell orange. <laughs> that little one? That's Gretchen Wieners. She's totally rich because her dad invented toaster strudel. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big. It's full of secrets. Hey, hey, I'm tapping. And evil takes a human form in Regina George. Uh, I'm before, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more than that. Having lunch with the scrunchies was like leaving the actual world and entering Visco world. And Visco world had a lot of rules. You can't go without saying more than two days in a row and you can only wear your hair without a scrunchie more than once a week. So I guess you pick today. Oh, and we always pick the baby turtles, not just on Fridays. Now, if you break any of these rules, you can't sit with us. I mean, like, not just you, any of us. See, if I wasn't wearing this oversized t-shirt today, I'd be sitting over there with the TikTok breaks. Oh, and we always vote before we ask somebody to eat lunch with us because you have to be considerate of the rest of the group. I mean, you wouldn't go buy a hydroflask without asking your friends if it matches your aesthetic. I wouldn't. Right. Where are the plastics? They're teen royalty. That one there, that's Karen Smith. She is one of the dumbest girls you will ever meet. And that little one, that's Gretchen Wieners. Gretchen Wieners knows everybody's business. She knows everything about everyone. That's why her hair is so big, it's full of secrets. Hey, hey, um, what's happening? And evil takes a human form in Regina George. No, uh, I'm before, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more than that. Lindsay, what day is it? What day is it? What day is it? <laughs> I mean, what day is it? What day is it? It's October 3rd. Oh, cool. Gina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Whatever. You can't sit with us! You can't sit with us! You can't sit with us! Can't... Gretchen thinks you're mad at her because she's running for Spring Fling Queen. Oh my god, I'm not mad at her. I'm worried about her. I think somebody nominated her as a joke or something. I mean, nobody votes for her. She's gonna have a total meltdown. And who's gonna have to take care of her? Me. So you don't... Gretchen thinks you're mad at her because she's running for Spring Fling Queen. Oh my god, I'm not mad at her. I'm worried about her. I think somebody nominated her as a joke or something. I mean, nobody votes for her. She's gonna have a total meltdown. And who's gonna have to take care of her? Me. So you don't think anyone will vote for her? Katie, she's not pretty. I mean, that sounds bad, but whatever. The Spring Fling Queen is always pretty. I mean, the crazy thing is, is that it should be Karen, but people forget about her because she's such a slut. Anyway, I gotta go. I'm going to bed. Well, she's not mad at you. Hold on. Are you okay? Shh. Hello? If someone says something bad about you, you'd want me to tell you, right? No. 
What if it was someone you thought was your friend? What do you... Hold on, other life. I started going out with my first boyfriend, Kyle, who's totally gorgeous, but then he moved to Indiana. And Janice was, like, weirdly jealous of him. Like, if I would blow her off to hang out with Kyle, she'd be like, why didn't you call me back? And I'd be like, why are you so obsessed with me? Oh, it's October 3rd. Okay. Never in my 14 years as an educator have I seen such behavior. And from young ladies. I've got parents calling me on the phone asking that someone get shot. I ought to cancel your spring flame. Now, I'm not going to do that because we've already paid the DJ. But don't think that I'm not taking this book seriously. Coach Carr has fled school property. Miss Norbury has been accused of selling drugs. Now, what the young ladies in this grade need is an, <laughs> an attitude makeover. And you're going to get it. Right now. I don't care how long it takes. I will keep you here all night. I will keep you here till four.